and welcome back to the Rallo Public Library. We are on week eight of the summer reading program and it is our final week. And it's all about imaginary creatures. So today for our story time, we are going to read Thumb of the Unicorn. You guys ready to get started? Thumb of the Unicorn. Thumb felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot, he said. You are as perfect as you are. But Thelma said, I am not. And that is when she saw it. A carrot on the ground. It gave her such great idea. She squeaked and jumped around. She took that symbol carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work. Who knows? Well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief, is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it fairly nearly hit her. Would you believe that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. I'm special now, she cried out loud, and so a star was born. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame. Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had come all true. But soon she found out that so much fame was kind of tricky too. You see, her fans were mad for her. They screamed and cried and laughed. They chased her everywhere she went to get her autograph. In fact, they chased her all day long. It never, ever stopped. They chased her while she exercised. They chased her while she shopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. And some were not her fans at all. No, some were really mean. And some just did the meanest things she'd really ever seen. So one dark night she felt quite sad. This famous little pony she thought, I thought that I feel great but all I feel is lonely. And she see right here she's missing Otis. And so with that she changed her mind. This lonely unicorn, she cleaned off all her sparkles and she ditched her magic corn. And then she walked right past the crowd they didn't even notice. She thought how nice that it would be to see her lovely Otis. And when he asked about her trip beneath her favorite tree, she simply said, oh, it was fun, but I'd rather just be me. That end. Wasn't that a great story? What was your guys' favorite part? That was my favorite part too, when she went back to Otis. So get ready to go to your activity tables. Today we're going to make our unicorn craft. I have everything included in your grab and go bags. Um, a lot of cutting and gluing this one. So I hope you guys have fun and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.